what is up YouTube, that's it here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a pretty funny battle. This battle is a bit of a joke battle, but it was really funny to play, so it should be a lot of fun to cast, and it should be pretty fun to watch. We're going to be using uh, Ferrothorn, Togekiss, Groudon, and Kangaskhan, going up against Groudon, Thunderous, Xerneas, and Ferrothorn. Looks like a pretty standard game, right? I think his other uh, Uber was a Kyogre, which is why I led with the Ferrothorn in the first place. But, uh, it looks like a pretty standard game, right? Well, it's not. Uh, I'm actually using incorrect items on my Kangaskhan and my Ferrothorn. I thought that my Ferrothorn was holding a Mental Orb, and I thought that my Kangaskhan was holding the Kangaskhanite. Um, I accidentally switched those items before I started the battle. So, for this game, we are going to be using Kangaskhanite Ferrothorn and a Mental Herb Kangaskhan. And I know that the Kangaskhanite is a good item, but you should not put it on your other Pokemon. And since my Kangaskhan is not able to Mega Evolve, this makes for a, a pretty weird game about halfway through when I realize that my Kangaskhan can't Mega Evolve. And I wonder if my opponent just thinks I'm like trying to BM him or not. Because it was actually really weird. I just, half the game, I just don't Mega Evolve with my Kangaskhan. <laughs> and, and, it, and I don't really know how to explain it but i mean this game ends up pretty funny hope you guys enjoy it. we're just gonna start things off get right into it note that i'm leading against king thunderous with choice scarf togekiss and kangaskhanite ferrothorn and the whole time i think my ferrothorn has a mental orb which is half the reason why i'm staying in but i do think this guy definitely has the better leads this looks like a vdc 2015 game that i would probably be on the losing side against so we see he's gonna go mega what a lucky guy Gains that parental bond, and you know, believe it or not, Kangaskhan is actually just really, really strong even without Mega. And we're gonna we're gonna see that this game. So he goes for the fake out up onto my Choice Scarf Togekiss, and we can see right away that Togekiss is incredibly frail. He has to know something's up. He goes for a T Wave up onto my Ferrothorn. I'm like half happy about it. Like I'd rather he T Wave me than just like Thunderbolt my Togekiss, I guess. So I do get paralyzed, but I get a Gyro Ball off. I don't get fully paralyzed that turn, and uh, the one game we fight against Slow Kang, right, is the one game that, like, I use Gyro Ball and a Kang, isn't it? So we're switching out in for Groudon here. He knows that I'm Choice Scarfed, so I might as well just switch into Groudon to block that Thunder Wave or Thunder Attack. I doubt that he's going to really attack it with Kangaskhan. I mean, he might. I'm thinking he's probably going to switch out to the Kangaskhan, but that's just... My little two cents there as I activate my Desolate Land on the switch in here. So he does switch out the Kangaskhan. I think that is the correct play. He's coming in with, uh, I think it's Talonflame. Talonflame is a, is a great Pokemon to block this Gyro Ball. But remember, now I'm paralyzed and my Gyro Ball is just going to hit super hard. I mean, I'm the slowest. He's super fast. And this is where the game gets kind of weird. He swaggers my Groudon. I mean... Maybe he did. Maybe he thought I was special. Maybe he just took a guess. But you never swagger a physical attacker. And I'm just gonna be spamming away at that rock slide button. I just like I need to rock slide, rock slide, just rock slide. Look how juicy those two targets are. We see he's gonna go for a flare blitz here. He's gonna take a uh, what is it? We have rock, oh, iron skin, rough skin, iron barbs, <laughs> rough skin, iron skin, rocky helmet, all those things. He's gonna take all that good damage. Kangaskhanite did not save my Ferrothorn from that one, as I'm just trying to Rock Slide. Rock Slide would be really nice, but I hit my Self-Confusion for about 20% of my health instead. So, not the best, as we see his Kangaskhan come in, and I come in with my Kangaskhan. I'm like, alright, I am really, really good here. I got a plus 2 Groudon, all I gotta do is Mega Evolve, and I realize I can't Mega Evolve. So I tried to protect there since I realized I couldn't Mega Evolve. Kangaskhan gets a Protect off. Groudon missed his, so that kind of sucks. As he goes for a Fake Out up onto my Groudon. He would just keep me honest, which is why I tried to protect in the first place. And I get Chunk down to 54, so I'm quite low now. As he goes for a Thunder Wave on my Kang. Now remember, regular Kang is a lot weaker and slower than regular Kang. So it's not going to be super, super good here. But Groudon does snap out of its confusion and go for a huge plus two rock slide. That big juicy damage. Doing a massive amount of damage to the Thunders. Picking up the one hit KO and dropping his king all the way to the red. And his king is going to retaliate with a return up onto my Groudon. And right here, I'm really wishing that I went for a uh, power up punch on that king slot. But, I mean, 
There's no way I could have known that I would snap out of confusion and be able to get a double KO. Bro, I was actually targeting the Thunderous with this double edge. And uh, since Thunderous got one shot, he wasn't holding a Focus Ash or anything, he got redirected into Kangaskhan. And I've actually stabilized. I don't know if he thinks I'm trying to, like, rub it in with some BM. Like, I don't even need to Mega to beat you. But that's kind of what it looks like, right? So he sends Xerneas out, and I have definitely not won yet. I'm a couple misses and a couple pairs away from still getting destroyed this game. But Choice Scarf Togekiss is going to come in strong, goes for an Air Slash, gets the flinch, and I follow it up with a regular Kangaskhan Double Edge. And look how much damage that does! That does so much damage! This thing isn't even Mega Evolved, it only hits one time. This Pokemon is still broken. Like, if they were just to, like, ban Kangaskhan, or ban the Kangaskhanite, I would still totally think about using this thing in VGC, like, Fake Out's good, Double Edge is good. I mean, this Pokemon's still really good! Even if it's holding a mental herb. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much today's game. I mean, I hope you liked it. It was a lot of fun to play. I mean, I got to use... I'm probably the first person on YouTube to use the Kangaskhanite Ferrothorn. Uh, I always like using the Choice Scarf Togekiss. I used a Swagger Groudon and used the Mental Herb Kangaskhan. So how often do those things happen in the same game? And how often do those things all come together? And then you still win the game. I mean, it's pretty weird. But it was a ton of fun to play this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about uh, all these shenanigans in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.